39 pounds it's the way I do it. of aluminum. Tim's talking about different things over here. That's what 39 pounds of aluminum looks like. I'm going to be building a TIG welder soon. What? Blah, blah, blah. I'm building a TIG cart soon. Yeah. All right, guys. I wanted to show you really quick what I got. This right here is a piece of angle. So, see, it's a V. V. Um, this I got for clamping stuff together, and it'll act as a heat sink. And then I got this right here. It's just going to go right on my table. This is a giant, thick piece of aluminum, which is awesome. And I can drill holes in it if I need it to, but this is going to become like my welding tabletop. So this is my fab table. It's just going to sit up on my fab table, and that's what I'm going to weld on. And then these things I was showing you guys right at the beginning, these are going to become my welding stand. This was all scrap metal. I would have gotten stick. It would have made it easier, but apparently they cut this, and then they cut it to the wrong size or whatever. I didn't need it anymore, and so it was in the scrap, so it was cheap. So I got it, and I'm going to use it to make a thing that will hold that and a thing that will hold that. And I'm going to use it to weld it together like a motorcycle stand or a motorcycle frame, but it's going to be a stand. Hell yeah. That's a future project, though. That's not today. Today, I'm going to try to work on this table and take the warp out of it. It potato chipped. So it's lower down here than it is over here on the ends. So that was not the end. There's the end. So I need to get it fixed. So I'm going to try to do that today. We'll see what happens. It's about 3 16th of an inch warped in the middle here. I can put my finger through it. I got it flipped over, which should allow me to follow the progress with my chunk of aluminum on how close I'm getting to level. And I figured if there is any weakening of the back because of how hot it is, it'll probably slant more the direction I want. Hopefully that be doesn't become an issue. It should as long as I don't overweld it. It's just a lovely fall day right now. It was hot earlier. I have it flipped over. Now I'm going to start welding. My camera's running out of batteries and my fucking time lapse died on me, but I think it fucking works. I just looked at it and it works. I'm gonna put a new battery in this thing, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Literally all my camera batteries are dying, but look, it touches all the way down. How nuts is that? I can't believe it actually works. Oh my gosh, if it didn't work over here too. That is amazing. This side is like truly perfect. Here's the middle. These two are the middle. I mean, that side is absolutely truly perfect. Here's the other side. The other side is pretty fucking good too. I mean, looks like there might be just a little bit of spring. Yeah, there's a little spring on this side. I'm not sure how much that is, but gotta be like maybe 60 thou something like that all right guys it's a beautiful day for whatever reason all of my batteries are running out of battery so I'm gonna make this short but I'm super happy this is on here I'm super stoked about that it's good to get a win get something that's working um, I'm gonna use th this giant pile of metal and I'm gonna design an awesome tool cart it's gonna get me some uh, awesome aluminum practice for welding and after that I'm gonna build a goddamn Iron Man suit. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I love all my subscribers. All like 106 of you. All 106 of you are fucking awesome. And if you're seeing this, hit the subscribe button and join us. I love you guys. It's accurate, guys. This is two field gauges put together. Like, to within 
45 thousandths of an inch. I said that's pretty good for fucking welding.